following video explains how to load firmware on a Span SC receiver. You will need to load firmware on the following components. The SPPC, the primary GPS, and the secondary GPS if you have a Span SED model. To load firmware on your Span SE, you will need authorization codes. They will be required each time you load new Span SE firmware. One code is required for each Span component. You can obtain auth codes from Novotel support. The following methods can be used to load firmware. The WinLoad option allows easy loading from a PC using an RS-232 cable. The SoftLoad option allows fast infield updates using a USB stick, SD card, or network. Using WinLoad, you will need the following. Valid authorization codes. A PC with WinLoad. Span SE green and yellow cables, a power supply and power cable, and your Span SE receiver. The SPPC is the first component you will load. Start by plugging the yellow cable into the back of the Span SE. Make sure the cable is firmly pressed in so that you hear a click. Plug COM1 of the yellow cable into the PC. For PCs where the connection to the COM port is obstructed and you are unable to plug in the SE cable directly, you can use a standard straight cable in order to make an extension. Plug in the power cable to the back of the span SE. Power the Span SE on. The serial number for the SPPC begins with the letters DDV. Copy the auth code of the SPPC to the clipboard for later use. Open the WinLoad utility on your PC. Ensure the correct COM port is selected. A download baud rate supported by your serial port is selected, and the connect baud rate is set to break. Click File Open and specify the SPPC firmware file. Then click Write Flash. WinLoad will find the SPPC and begin loading. When prompted, paste the auth code you copied from the clipboard into the auth code window. When loading is complete, the next step is to load the primary GPS. First connect the green cable into the Span SE. Plug the end labeled OEM V3 into the PC. The primary GPS serial number begins with the letters DAB. Copy the auth code to the clipboard for later use. Open the OEMV firmware file and load the receiver the same way you loaded the SPPC. If you have a Span SED model, you can now update your secondary GPS. Plug the end labeled OEMV2 into the PC. The secondary GPS serial number starts with the letters BZZ.
Load the firmware in the same way as the primary GPS. To confirm the firmware has loaded correctly, open a connection in CDU and issue the command log version. You will see no invalid auth codes in the version log, as well you will see the firmware versions you have just loaded. Now let's explore the soft load option using an SD card. You will need the following, a firmware file with embedded auth codes an SD card loaded with that firmware file, communication with a powered span SC receiver, and you must have SCD300 or later currently loaded on the receiver in order to use soft load. Like the win load option, all span SC components must be loaded separately. In this example, we will show loading the SPPC. The first thing to do is embed the auth codes in the firmware file. Open the firmware file in the text editor and paste the serial number with auth codes into the file in the following format. You can paste multiple serial numbers and auth codes in the file. This allows multiple receivers to be loaded with the same firmware file. Copy the modified firmware file to the SD card. Power the span SE on. Insert the SD card into the receiver. Soft loading is started with the soft load file command. Its usage is the following where source can be a USB stick, RAM drive for network loading, or an SD. File name is the name of the file you are loading. And destination is one of the three SPAN components. Connect to your SPAN SE receiver using your device. For this example, we enter the soft load file command by entering the source as SD, the file name, and the destination as span for the SPPC. After a carriage return line feed, the soft loading process will begin. It will take five to six minutes for the span SE firmware to load. The unit will then reset You can then repeat this procedure to load the GPS components. The version log can then be used to make sure the firmware has loaded correctly. This concludes loading firmware on the SPAN SE.